Greetings Saberland, Vader's Vault here, uh, showing off the latest in our line of products that we're bringing out. Something that we're very excited about and been trying to bring to you for the last uh, year, really. Um, a lot of you may not know, or some of you may have forgotten, that um, Vader's Vault has had a quality, affordable entry range product for well over a year. Um, actually, we've always done a stunt of some sort. Uh, back when we first started uh, in PVC, stunts were popular. We were, you know, involved in making those, and then we moved on to machined aluminum stunts. Um, and when we couldn't keep up with the volume manually machining aluminum stunts, we actually went to a uh, a half and half, half CNC'd, half manually machined uh, product, and then we decided to just bite the bullet and get something totally CNC'd. And so. Uh, uh, we teamed up with our, our favorite uh, CNC machinist, Orbital Machining, and uh, we came up with uh, what has been a very popular product line for us, the Havoc and the Fury Stunt Savers. And um, from the outset, when, I, when we first got these, I said, you know, how cool would it be to have a saber of this profile, this very slender build, perfectly balanced saber, how cool would it be to have those with sound, consistent sound? You know, at the time, you know, we could put a petite crouton in these sabers. Uh, it was just not a very um, elegant build that's conducive to the active saber player, somebody who's going to be at a convention or at an event and maybe need to change a battery or, you know, it wouldn't have been very easily maintainable by the owner. And um, the only other options at the time were. Uh, MR Yoda boards and who wants to continue gutting sabers for soundboards. Uh, we, we got very tired of gutting perfectly good collectible sabers, MR and Hasbro FX sabers, just to get a soundboard. Uh, There's a lot of work to go through. It was destroying something already made that somebody else could be enjoying. And, you know, we just weren't real happy with the quality of that particular soundboard. Um, so last year we actually approached Irv at Plector Labs and we begged him for a beautiful, tiny, quality soundboard in, this, in the same quality range as the other Plector Labs products you use to the Petit Crouton, this Crystal Focus, uh, with less features. But we, what we really wanted was good quality sound, very small profile. And, uh, you know, he came through, just like everything else he does, Is he's just an artist. And uh, what he delivered was this tiny board that you see here. And uh, as you can see, it's just big enough to house the uh, SD card and the few solder pads that you need and the MCU. And that, that's it. And it's a beautiful, beautiful product. And it allowed us to have a saber that's less than an inch and a quarter in outer diameter. I don't know if, uh, if you guys realize that, but this will actually fit very loosely inside MHS um, and actually rattle around a little bit. <clears throat> so very small and uh, very comfortable to wield. It's something that we've always liked. I, I just As I've been doing this, I like my sabers to be slimmer and slimmer and slimmer until we get to this. and It's just very comfortable to hold. And, uh, the industry has kind of been going the other way, you know, we have bigger sabers because we're cramming all sorts of electronics into them and 10 watt LEDs and 40 watt LEDs and giant double 18 650 packs and everything else and you know, we just wanted something a little simpler. So when uh, Irv delivered this to us, we knew we had a winner. We knew that we could deliver a consistent uh, product with quality sound and features that people are used to on higher end sabers. A lot of people think as Vader's Vault is only producing real high-end, real expensive custom runs or just custom one-off pieces. And you know, while we do do that and we enjoy that because, well, when we make a saber, it's almost like we're making it for ourselves because you know that's why we got into this. All the runs we do, we do because we want the same saber that we're producing. Um, so with this, I wanted a saber that if I just wanted to pick up something and bang it around or twirl it around and not feel guilty about picking up a thousand dollar, fifteen hundred dollar piece, I could do it and I want my customers to be able to do the same. So we're delivering a product to you right now uh, with our two existing models, the Havoc and the Fury with sound, 
uh, starting at just shy of three hundred dollars and you're going to be able to get a saber with Plector Lab sound it's going to come with a single 18650 cell because that's what it runs off of it's going to come with a charger for the, the battery cell and a 32 inch dual diffuse Vader's Vault blade just like you're used to getting with all of our other stunts but this time you're going to be able to get a complete package ready to go out of the box for under 300 bucks uh, things like higher end LEDs, 10 watts, uh, the flash on clash feature, uh, extra batteries or powder coating, any of those will add to the price, but still, you're going to be able to get an awesome saver with custom features, you know, great, great detail, the great quality you're used to getting from us, all at a great affordable price. And, um, you know, the Crystal Shard has led to a lot of great things. A lot of people were kind of negative when it was brought, you know, to market and it wasn't available for public use and DIY but um, you know they don't really realize that it was a privately commissioned board and uh, when uh, we developed this it actually led to the development of the Nano Viscopt uh, which is something that is going to be available to the DIYers out there at a great price in the not too distant future probably within the next uh, month and a half or so at uh, the custom saber shop so you know, this little board right here brought great things. It brought us products like this, and uh, our peers have been able to do runs and savers for uh, more affordable prices and be able to offer you a, a sound card that you can change your sound font on, have the ability for flash on clash, and still be affordable. So, uh, without further discussion, let's get this powered on so you guys can uh, see and hear it. Uh, this is our Havoc model. It's probably our most popular out of the two. Uh, we have we had ten prototypes, uh, five of the Havoc and five of the Furies. Um, the five Havocs are already sold, so we have five Furies available. Um, that we will be taking a hundred dollar deposit on them as we're allowing people to still choose their LEDs and if they want powder coating or anything other features uh, we can get those ordered. Um, so if you want one, we have five spots left, first come, first serve. Uh, you can reach us on the FX Sabres forum, www.fx-sabres.com slash forums. And uh, we'll be there. There will be a thread where you can come voice your interest. <coughs> and for all your sound font needs, you can download any sound font uh, at www.saberfont.com and be able to put any sound font you want on this board at any time. So, very cool. Let's get it powered on. Basically, you just pop in your 18650. It takes just a single cell. You'll hear the boot sound. Now, a lot of people are like, well, there's no recharge port, and you know, how are you going to kill power and all that? Well, um, Irv, being the genius that he is, already thought of that. When we, when we discussed that during development, uh, he came up with a solution of a super deep sleep mode. And if it's left untouched and unactivated for, well, it's an adjustable amount of time, but we've got this set at about 10 minutes, uh, it goes into a deep sleep. And the deep sleep with an 18650 will get you uh, a few years, a couple of years at least, of uh, sleep time before it drains the battery. So you can pick it up, and if it's in sleep mode, you tap the button once, it will boot, and then you can tap it on off just like normal. Uh, but right now it's already booted, so we can turn it on. Now, as you can tell, even in that tiny profile, it is very loud and clear. We've got a very bright blade. This is only a 3 watt uh, RGB mixed for purple. Uh, it does have the green die hooked up for flash on clash. With the uh, shimmer on flash, it does have a very subtle flicker. The flicker is adjustable. So there is a lot of. Um, familiar features of people who have petite croutons or crystal focuses uh, you can adjust your swing and clash sensitivity and your, your uh, flash on clash uh, settings uh, same motion detection as a crystal focus or petite crouton uh, v2 uh, same great sound quality even out of this tiny tiny hill uh, you've got great great sound quality very bright LEDs available and lighted anti vandal switch, all for a very affordable price. Turn it off. Uh, we know with the single switch operation, there's no uh, anti power off or power on protection, so uh, we do have the uh, power off delay. 
which as you can see I'm tapping it, it's not going off, but if you tap it and hold it for a second, it goes off. Uh, it's not like other boards where you gotta wait like 10 years for it to uh, shut off. If you press the button, you just quick, and it goes right off. Just a quick delay, and that is also adjustable. So if you find you like it to have it longer and you want to read a book before it turns off, then uh, you can do that. But, uh, as it is right now, it's just a, a quick second. So, um, well, thanks for watching. And uh, if you want to get a hold of one of these, uh, like I said, we have the five uh, Fury prototypes that you can get on board with. We are hoping to have another good sized batch uh, available for purchase before celebration. So, all you guys going to celebration, uh, let's not let it be like last year. Last year, at cel or not last year, but last celebration was kind of a dismal showing for custom saber peeps. You know, only the handful of us from FX that were there actually had custom savers. So um, let's let's make a good showing this year. If you want to have a good quality, uh, affordable custom saver to bring with you to celebration this year, uh, we're going to have a batch of these ready for you. So uh, hit us up, www.vadersvault.com. Sabersmith at vadersvault.com is our email. Or you can come visit us on the FX Sabers forums, which is a great place for all you Saber fans uh, to come and uh, hang out. Thanks a lot. Have fun with your lightsabers.